Oh, I should not shake my hand while holding my teapot lid. I have broken enough stuff recently. I need to chill. Hi guys, how are you doing? All the best stories are acorn related. So I will tell, I'm gonna be here for a while. Oh gosh, I can hear myself, that's wrong. Ah, ah, hang on, hang on. How has this happened to me? This is like, this was the problem I had when I first started streaming like three years ago. Oh gosh. My, where's my browser gone to? Oh, there it is, there it is. All right, all right, we're good, sorry. <laughs> Whoops, okay. Um. So yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. I am making tiramisu, which is also like my favorite. I love eating it, never made it. Um, and in addition to the tiramisu, we're actually going to be, man, now I lost the chat. <laughs> I'll just keep talking while I find it. Um, in addition to the, there it is, the tiramisu, um, I'm also making the lady fingers to go in the tiramisu because nowhere sells lady fingers around here. I don't understand. Um, we're also going to be doing uh, like chocolate um, I'm assuming that at some point between baking ladyfingers and making tiramisu, there's gonna be some time to like try and temper some chocolate. I got like, I don't know where it is, but I got a thermometer so I can try and I've never tempered chocolate before. It's gonna be a disaster. Everything is gonna be a disaster. My cat, my cat is here to wish me luck. Oh man, that Alliance apron though, y'all, thanks Ryan. Oh, love your channel, keep it up. Y'all, thanks Joy Red. Here, have a cat. Yeah. Oh, she's too warm. Go away. Oh, chill. It's actually like chilly outside, so I've opened some windows because it is gonna get warm in here with like the lights and everything. This is gonna be a fun stream. It's gonna be such a fun stream. So what I'm trying to say is I need to get started. I have printed out a recipe on paper because it's apparently 2006 in here. Um, and because I was using two recipes and I know I'm gonna lose one if I try and pull it up on like my tablet or whatever. So I just have a piece of paper. I threw the little acorn on the corner because that's what I do. <laughs> Ever since I made that acorn, I'm like, you know what? That's a gosh darn good acorn. I'm going to put it on everything. So if you're receiving legendary Patreon mail, it is going to be on your shipping label. But um, I'm going to get started because we need to get like some custard in the fridge that has to cool for at least an hour. So the plan is custardy stuff in the fridge, make some lady fingers, put the stuff together, um, make the chocolate... I'm just going to get started and we'll wing it as we go along, and at some point I'm going to tell you the, how, the, how the emote stuff's been going. Also, my keyboard disaster from this morning. Also, something else. Hey, Hazel Slip Game Addicted, how are you doing? Okay, so my first step is in my medium saucepan, which is already on my stove, um, I'm going to be whisking together the egg yolks, six of them. There's a lot of eggs in this thing. We're using, between this, we're using ten eggs. I, I got an extra dozen eggs just for today. Uh, six egg yolks and sugar until well blended. I've already put the sugar in the pan, so I have a concern that it's going to get really messy once I start just like lopping egg yolks into the pan. But anyways, um, we're going to whisk those together um, and then add some milk. So I'm going to start by uh, separating some eggs and dropping the yolks into that pot of sugar, which is weird, but we're doing it. So I'm going to actually like shift the camera a little bit so that, because I'm going to be standing over by the sink because I don't need the egg whites for anything. If I was a magician, if I was like a magician, I would be keeping, like, reserving the egg whites and then also making, like, some meringues or something, but I feel like between the tiramisu and the lady fingers to go in the tiramisu, we gonna be, we gonna be busy, so that's four. I need six, right? Six eggs yolks. Okay, yeah, I need two more eggs. Um, oh boy. We have some, for the part where you, like, soak the lady fingers in, uh, Kitty, what's up? I think the rain's made her mad. I don't usually open the windows, but it's raining. Uh, for the part where we soak the lady fingers in alcohol and coffee, I have um, like some Portlandy Stumptown cold brew. Uh, did I miss something? I feel like I saw something that I should have seen. Hopefully it'll pop up in chat. And um, this all sounds extremely messy. You're not prepared. I'm not. I'm gonna. I got. I gotta keep moving. I gotta keep moving. So we're separating six eggs. Yolks in here. Whites in the sink. And I'm going to remember yolks in the pot, whites in the sink, yolks in the pot, whites in the sink. Also, um, because of the way that I've chosen to set my lighting up today, it kind of looks like I'm embracing the sun uh, when I stand by my sink, and that's just going to have to be okay. <laughs> Alright, so yolk there, white in here. And again, I'm practicing my technique of breaking eggs in a flat surface to avoid puncturing the egg yolk, because I always do that. And I'm getting a little better, but every now and then I lose track of how hard I'm hitting it and I just go smash and there's just like egg massacre on my counter. And I haven't quite managed to shake that out yet. Alright, so that's two. That one had a little bit of clinging white to it, but we'll see how this goes. As long as whatever happens looks vaguely 
somewhere in the family of tiramisu, it's going to be fine. Um, I'm sure it'll taste good. Most, most things do. Sometimes the consistency doesn't work out. You know, sometimes your pie filling doesn't set. Sometimes your cake pop collapses on itself. Oh, I broke that one. I broke that one. Ooh, ooh. All right. All right. White's gone. White's gone. Ooh. Oh, it's so cold. Maybe I should have set those out to warm a bit. I don't know. Um, sometimes everything doesn't end up the perfect consistency. But you know what? As long as you put, like, the cream and sugar in, uh, it's probably going to taste fine. And you hopefully learn something for next time. I'm not great at that, but I try. Come on now. I know people do a thing where they, like, pour it between halves of the egg crust. That's not the word. Egg shell. Egg shell. Not egg crust. Uh, where they, like, pass the yolk between the two halves of egg shell. I've never been able to do that. I'm just terrified. Like, it's sharp. I'm gonna stab the yolk. And I feel like if I had, like, farm fresh eggs, which I am desperately jealous of because I used to have them and I don't anymore. I feel like if I had farm fresh eggs, those are stronger. But these things are standard issue grocery eggs, as they must be, because I had to buy 10 of them just for this stream. Um, all right, eggshells. So, they ain't the strongest. All right, I am gonna come back into the land where I'm not a supernova. I need to whisk these together and then heat them over medium heat and then pour in a certain amount of milk. I need a whisk. I need a whisk. Oh, this is weird and gross looking. It's very thick, which I guess is fine. <laughs> so did you see this? I've never had tiramisu. Ooh, tiramisu is delightful. I've only ever really had it at restaurants. It seems like it's a very common thing. We got like some sugary, sugary egg yolks right now. Tiramisu seems like a very common thing to have at a restaurant is like dessert. I don't know how they all make it so easily, but it's it's nice. It's like a very light dessert. It's like when you want cake, but you don't like cake, and you don't really want like pudding or like cheesecake. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to describe. Okay, so I need to heat that over medium heat. Whisk in milk. Okay, so maybe I whisk in the milk now. Anyways, uh, medium heat. Medium exactly. So I'm gonna whisk in the milk now because it didn't say heat first. This is a recipe just like off the internet. It had good reviews, but sometimes these are not formatted correctly and you have to kind of guess as to what order new stuff in, so we guess it. Ooh. Oh, my hand is really wet. It like flung water everywhere. I think I need to scroll. Oh, no, we're good. Um, oh, man. All right, so the milk amount is going to be two-thirds of a cup of milk. Okay. I'm excited for the stages, which are not for a while, but the stages where we add um, both the coffee, because I want to try it, because I don't think I've had this cold beer before. I'm not, I'm more of a tea person, as you know, but I'm open, to, I'm open to trying new things in my life. And then also the rum, because depending on how the rest of it has gone by the time we got there, we might need a little bit of that. Uh, all right, third of a cup, so I need two of these, correct? I'm going to, like, triple check all my amounts, because if I'm ever going to make a really dumb mistake while baking it, we'll be on stream. All right, so two of these. I also made a whole pot of tea, but I don't know when I'm going to actually sit and drink it, because I want to get certain on the cookies pretty quickly, because they need to cool for a while, or do they need to bake for a while? Oh, we'll, we'll get that. We'll get that then. So. I have a very smooth, very yellow liquid over there. Almost 60k subs go hazel. Thanks! I don't know how to pronounce that. We're gonna call it Feta PF. Mm. We need a wow name for the tiramisu. It's Duskwood tiramisu. I'm gonna try and, like, figure out a way to make it more duskwoody. Um, probably around the chocolate shaving step. Not shavings, drizzling. We're gonna, like, temper some chocolate and, like, drizzle it on some parchment. It's gonna be a disaster. Uh, but first... Uh, all right, so our plan with the with the yellow yellow magic back there, um, whisk and milk cook over medium heat, stirring constantly. Oops, uh, until the mixture boils. We're gonna boil it gently for one minute, and then remove it from heat, and then cover tightly and chill in the refrigerator. So I'm assuming I'm gonna cover it in something that's not the pan because that's not gonna. I feel like a hot pan in the fridge is just a bad idea. But 
Right now we just need to keep stirring until it boils. Which is a problem because I can't read chat from all the way over here. Maybe I can move it. That's not even warm yet. That's not even warm yet. Uh, caught one of your streams finally. Welcome, Sean. Baking some banana bread alongside you. Ooh, Randy, do you do banana bread with, like, nuts, or are you a banana purist? I need to know. Spiderweb designs on top? Yo, Damien, that sounds like an awesome idea. I don't think that my chocolate work is gonna go beyond this is a big blob. I feel like I'm gonna try and drizzle it, and it's just gonna glob off the spoon and be, like, a thing, and I'm gonna throw that on top of my tiramisu. I have a vision that that's how that's gonna go, but if I can make spiderwebs, I'll make some spiderwebs. Okay, um, once we're done with this, uh, we're gonna put in the fridge for an hour, and then we'll start on the lady figure cookies, which are called Savoy I can't, I can't even. Uh, it's got a lot of vowels in it. It's got a lot of, a lot of vowels in it. That's the Italian name. I'm not even gonna try because I'm going to offend, like, Italians or people that have met Italians or people that have eaten spaghetti. I'm just not gonna. So, basically, lady fingers, we're gonna make that. It wants me to line three jelly roll pans with parchment paper. I don't know what a jelly roll pan is, and I don't have one, so I'm just gonna do it on, like, a baking sheet, because it later says, take them off the baking sheet. And I'm like, well, what happened to your jelly roll pan? Uh, <laughs> Alright, I need to keep whisking that now. So I'm gonna move the mic, and I'm gonna pull up chat over here. And GPOW70, thanks for the sponsor! I will, um, right now you get a sweet acorn by your name if you decide to chat, but in the future you might have some sweet emotes beside your name. Uh, well not beside your name, you have to type them, but there aren't any yet, but there will be, and I will talk about that. So right now I'm just moving the mic and pulling up chat over here so I can continue to stir, because it wants me to, it's important. And also I need to keep an eye on when this boils. It's very frothy, it's very frothy, I don't know, I don't know if it's boiled yet. All right, so if I want to chat on here, what, did I just go to, like, the, what, the YouTube app? YouTube has been doing some stuff lately. Oh, hey, there's me. Oh, this is going to play sound again, isn't it? Ah, stop. No, 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 no. <laughs> no matter how long you've been, you know, recording yourself doing stuff, you never really, really get on board with the sound of your own voice. You never, like, it gets better. It doesn't get perfect. All right. All right, there we go. Um, make the chocolate gray if you can. Duskwood, I think, gray. That is true. If I was gonna do gray, which I might for a future Duskwood tiramisu, um, instead of chocolate, I would probably find some of those gray, um, candy melts. I feel like making chocolate, because I just have chocolate chips that I'm gonna melt. I feel like making that gray would be beyond my, beyond my abilities. Duskwood is undead in spiders, that is true. That's been lots of chocolate chips, he's throwing those for them, but he's kind of unsure of nuts in it. You love walnuts in it, though. Yeah, the chocolate chips, I feel like, are important. I've only ever had a couple of banana breads. I've never actually made it. This is, like, really frothy. Is this supposed to be so frothy? It wants me to whisk it constantly, so we're doing that. I don't think it's boiled yet. I'm resisting the urge to stick my finger in it, because I've been doing that this last week. I've been like, oh, is this thing hot? I'm gonna touch it, and, like, forgetting all of the years I've learned over my 25 years of life. I burned myself because I was like, I wonder if I actually boiled this tea water or not, or did I forget to turn on the kettle? And I just like stick my finger in my tea water, I'm like, yep, I did. That's making some tea. Oh man. A jelly roll pan is just a cookie sheet with short sides on it. Okay. Alright, well I have a cookie sheet with no sides on it. Actually, I have a baking sheet that has sides on it, but I figured I was going to do it on, um, I have an insulated cookie sheet that I was going to do it on. Because, why not? I feel like I'm just making a frothy yellowness. My cat is so curious. I've never stood still in my kitchen for as long as this. <laughs> it's alright. It's good. OMG, hi, it's Oldham Guy stuff, Josh. <laughs> or Oldham Guy, you know, depending on what you'd like to be known as. Spiderweb design would be easy if you draw circles and then take a toothpick from center to outside in a few lines. Yeah, we can try that, we can try that. I don't know how hard, or I don't know how quickly it hardens. Like, we're doing melted chocolate on parchment. It might be doable. I've never done it before. I don't know, I don't know what we can do. Alright, that hasn't boiled yet. I'm turning it up just like the fraction, a tiniest fraction. It's like a 5.4. 5.4 right now. 
It is supposed to froth. Okay, good. You're 25? I am super, super 25. I feel like that puts me right between, like, really young and really old. Depending on who I'm talking to, anyways. I don't actually run into that many people my age. I feel like most people that I chat with online are either, like, a lot younger or, like, a lot older. I haven't encountered too many people my age. I feel like they're all busy getting their degrees or something. <laughs> Doing something useful with their lives. Alright. Oh, oh, it's... Is it boiling or is it just frothing more? There was one bubble, but... It's just one. Alright, well, we're gonna keep whisking. <laughs> um... Until it boils, boil gently for a minute, then remove from heat, allow to cool slightly, cover tightly, and chill in the refrigerator one hour. Alright. I want to be really, really extra careful with all of the steps relating to, like, things that are supposed to set. Because... I've had a couple of things not set on me, and it's just like, you, you slice into it, and it's just like, blah, 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 blah. Not what you want. I wonder what I would need to do to get my teacup over here. Do I have a teacup? I made a pot of tea. I don't think I have a teacup. Um, I want to be extra careful because I broke a teacup right before my last stream. I was so upset. I was, like, frustrated because I had spent, um, a bunch of time trying to make one of the emotes work and I was really sad that it hadn't come together yet. Oh, oh, I think we're almost there. And then I was texting one of my friends, and it was like, yeah, how'd your emote go? And I'm like, oh, it didn't work out. And it's like, well, it's okay, you still have one ready, right? And I'm like, no. <laughs> it's like, oh, is it, like, almost done? You can put it out. And I'm like, no, the squirrel does not have a head. I am not making a headless squirrel emote. Although I might end up putting sunglasses on him, because I can't draw eyes. At least not in vector. All right, that is officially boiling. We're going to boil it for one minute. Go. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep whisking it. I'm going to, because it's kind of... I feel like I'm whisking a banana. It's very yellow. It's very orange. I wish I had, like, more cameras that were floating that I could just, like, magnetically direct to different areas. I feel like that's going to be, like, 100 years from now, that's how people are going to do baking spoons. They're going to have floating cameras that they can just, like, swipe into different locations. All right. I feel like we're boiling gently. It smells weird. <laughs> it smells real weird. Uh, alright. Turn it down a little more. We got 13 seconds left. We're being precise. My arm is really tired. <laughs> alright. So. It is thickened. I don't know if it was supposed to thicken, but it thickened quite a bit. I feel like that's probably part of the goal. So I'm gonna move the mic back here and then wash this. I'm going to take this egg carton and throw it somewhere in the direction of my uh, recycling pile, trying to hit my dog. And we are going to start. Oh, don't let me forget to put that in the fridge. It needs to chill for a minute, but after that, I need to put it in the fridge for an hour. Uh, do, do, do. Good luck with your tiramisu. It is good to see other things on this page that you do. I'm glad you think so, John. Affliction is in my book. I'm a 935 Aflock myself, but this is a baking stream. Is is as an affliction lock. How do you feel about the fact that you still don't have your animations redone? Like, does that keep you up at night? Because I would be so mad. I guess if you were mad, I just reminded you, and I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it shouldn't bubble much. That's bad. Oh dear. Uh. I'll pay you these for the first time on stream. It's a fun adventure. Yeah, yeah. I like I, I like that too because um, I feel like if I want to leave any message, not that this is like a big message of a stream, but if I wanted to give any message to the world like throughout my lifetime, it's that it's okay to suck at stuff. <laughs> and that if you're doing something consistently and you suck at it, you're on the road that leads you to being good at it. Whereas if you just say, tried it once and you're like, wow, I suck at this and you never did it again, you're never going to be good at it. And it's, you just gotta be okay with being terrible. <laughs> um, alright, so we're gonna let that cool a little bit more. Eh, it's cool a little bit. It's gonna cool more when I put it into this thing. It's so foamy. It's so foamy. It's like weird egg foam. Alright, well that's fine. Um, 
Let me scrape that actually. I have my handy cripple thingy. So I'm going to scrape that into that. We're going to throw that in the sink. Cover this because it said cover tightly. So I'm going to use some plastic wrap here and then I'm going to throw that in the fridge and set a timer, probably my phone, uh, for an hour. And it needs to stay in there at least that long and before we start putting together the tiramisu, which gives me lots of time to create uh, both the cookies, the ladyfingers, as well as um, some chocolate decorations. We're gonna, we'll try some chocolate spider webs. They don't need to look good. They just need to be, yeah, we just gotta try. We just gotta try. All right. You go in the fridge, try not to like, ah, knock over the soy sauce. Oh, I should clean that up. I should clean that up. <laughs> Oops. Big, big, big thing for spilling stuff. Mm. Okay. It's the only reason that my fridge is navigable is not because I keep it organized, but because I don't have that much stuff in there at any given time. If I was trying to like cook for a family, it would be, it would be bad news bears in there. All right, so on my phone, on my phone, uh, we're gonna time for one hour. The fingerprint thing does not work because my hands are wet. Do, 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 one hour. Go. All right, so that's when we're allowed to take the custard out of the fridge or whatever it is. Um, I think what happens is you mix it with either whipped cream or mascarpone. I'm not sure which one you whisk it with. We'll get there later. <sighs> okay, did the eggs scramble? They did not scramble. They did not scramble. There was no egg curdling. They were pretty foamy but it was like very evenly thickened, so I'm hoping that's for the best. Uh, the new ones were priests and such, makes me think it takes longer to cast. I like it the old ways. It would drive me insane if my cast got updated. I do think that it would have been wise for them, well, my, I do think it would have been wise for them to add a toggle, because I know not everybody's happy with the new animations, but maybe, maybe there's a good reason. Cooking profession mess. Oh, life in general, specifically not having new animations. Your fridge has just beer and Pepsi. Oh, I know a guy, actually. I, there's a guy in my guild that's like, that's his life. His fridge is beer and Pepsi. And uh, the beer is for raid nights. <laughs> I, what did I miss? Uh, we whisked some egg yolks with some sugar and milk for a while. And uh, I'm, I'm showing off my hazelnutty gains. And <laughs> we threw that in the fridge. I am wasting time. Um, I'm going to slam some water real quick. I put a new nozzle on my Camelback water bottle because the old one had been like falling apart because I've been using it for years. And now it takes so much more work to get water out of it. All right, so we are going to be making ladyfinger cookies, uh, which means we are, I'm going to s use some stuff. Okay, I'm gonna start by preheating the oven. 375, okay, I think I need two bowls. We're gonna separate the eggs into two bowls. The egg yolks are going to be whisked with half of the sugar, one third of a cup of sugar, and then all of the vanilla. We're going to beat until very light colored, which takes about five minutes. So I am going to use one of my two electric mixers. That's why I have them both out. Because in the other one, we need to beat the egg whites until they hold soft peaks. While beating, slowly add the salt and the remaining sugar until combined. And then gently fold the beaten egg whites into the egg yolk mixture. And then we're going to sift flour over top of that. So basically there's some egg magic going on here. I'm gonna do this in two separate parts. I do have two mixers. I could do it both at once, but I, 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 I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't do that. Oh man, be a good thing if you could toggle from the new to the old. I'm sure a lot of people would go for the old. I mean, they let you do it with the old. Oh, it's a UPS trick. Um, they let you do it with the old uh, mo character models. So I don't know why they. I don't know. I, I'm sure they don't have like a, like a words are just escaping me. I'm sure they don't have anything against a toggle. There may have been just some reason why it wasn't. I mean, no idea. No idea what a tiramisu is, but here I am. Yo, you should Google it. It's, it's delicious. It's like there's soft cream, there's like coffee and chocolate and alcohol flavors. It's nice. It's, a, it's like a nice thing. Uh, mine might not be nice, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a go. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do the egg yolks first. So we're gonna start by separating four eggs in a bowl. my cookie sheet, I think. So I was reading online that because the whole point of these ladyfinger cookies is to make layers in this is my tiramisu dish, to make layers in it, I was told I could just like pipe two big cookies, like two big layer shaped cookies, and that would do it. 
And I'm sure it would, but I'm not... I don't know how much of you guys can hear that, but it's like really loud. I'm not sure of my measuring piping skills. Like I'm probably gonna make a really weird shaped wafer that wouldn't fit and it would like cut badly and it's just gonna look messy. So I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the fingers. I'm gonna actually pipe them. Um, we have an hour to kill anyways while we're waiting for this stuff to set, so we need lots to do. Mm. Tiramisu is the best dessert ever invented. Oh, I agree. How many ladies were used for their cookies? Is this from the WoW cookbook? It's not. It's not. We, we're kind of running out of stuff in the WoW cookbook. Uh, so we're branching out, but we're gonna try and make it dusk woody. I really like hot tea, I don't really like cold tea. No one else in this house hates hot tea. <laughs> I am, a, I am a big hot tea fan too, obviously. Mm. Does the hardcover cookbook have more red recipes than the digital one? I bought mine on iTunes, never seen this one. No. Um, hardcover and digital are the same. This is not from the Warcraft cookbook. Although, if you haven't bought a Warcraft cookbook, you should anyways. This is just recipes off the internet we're going to try and wow up. Because we're doing two baking streams a month, we're going to run out of wow cookbook recipes eventually. Uh, have you ever tried pavlova? It's an egg white dessert, one of my faves. Randy, I have not. But now I want to. Um, I made actually, hang on, I need to start, I need to start this because I'm going to be whisking for like five minutes. So four eggs, two bowls, four eggs, two bowls. And then we'll set a five minute whisk timer. I made um, an egg custard tart uh, last week. Whites, yolks, whites, yolks, four. Oh, too much, too hard. All right. Whites, oh God, oh God, I broke it. I had to I had to do that one real quick before I got any you don't want any yolk in the white when you're doing this. Uh, I made an egg custard tart. I, I I finished watching the episodes of British Bake Off that were available to me. And that was the one recipe that I was like, man, that doesn't look that hard. It looks delicious. I want one. So I tried making it and it actually went pretty well. I had to do some um, currency conversion because all the recipes were like British, so they were using like the door. My hands are full of egg. Hang on. Um, it might just leave. It might be a packet. Let me see if I have to get this. soggy bottom. The custard set. It browned a lot on top. I wonder if I added too much sugar because theirs were all like real pale and uniform at the top and mine had like big big dark spots on the top of it. I thought they looked good but they did not look like the pictures. Um, oh boy. Ah, oh, 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 oh no. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> I told you guys I'm terrible at breaking eggs. All right. That'll do. I didn't get any visible yolk in the white, so that's there's, there's something. Okay. All right. The crust wasn't perfect, but I have not figured out pastry crust yet. Like, I know you're not supposed to add too much water, and you're not supposed to overwork it because both of those things will make it tough. But when I don't do either of them, and you're supposed to keep everything cold, and all of those th three things combined serve to make it just like a pile of flour in my counter with some butter bits in it that will not come together into a dough. Like, I see people rolling out and laying down these beautiful, like, sheets of pastry dough, and I'm looking at, like, this <laughs> lumpy, floury mess on my counter and going, something's not right here. Um, creme brulee is great, but you need a blowtorch to make it. That sounds like a thing I'm not gonna do. <laughs> I don't think I have the insurance for that. All right, so we have separated four eggs. A third of a cup of sugar in this one and then a teaspoon of vanilla, and we're gonna whisk that for five minutes. So I'm gonna try and talk to you over the sound of my whisk. It's gonna be really annoying, but you guys are gonna deal because, uh, that's like, <laughs> all right, third of a cup of sugar. I got my sugar over here. I love these snap containers. Not sponsored, by the way. If I'm ever sponsored by anybody, I will tell you. Um, until then, it's just stuff that I like. Uh, third of a cup. All of the markings have worn off of my measuring cups and they did it before I learned what they look like. So this is the same. This is, where are my third of cups? I only have quarters, halves, and fulls. I know I have one somewhere. I was just using it. Oh, here we go. Great, I'll wash it. I only have one. I don't know where the other one went. But, got the one. 
what was that? Hazel people, they were freaking out. I, was, I think it's just Amazon delivery. Um, I ordered a wireless charger for my husband's new phone. Our plan, our plan upgraded us, so we both have new, new, um, the new iPhones, not the crazy one, but like the eight, because it was the same price as long as we kept in our contract, which was fine. So we got wireless charging now, and I will say it's the bee's knees. I never knew how much I didn't like plugging in my phone until I didn't have to do it anymore. All right, so one third of a cup of sugar. One third of a cup. And then a teaspoon of vanilla. I should have another thing coming, ideally today, but probably tomorrow, and that would be my new keyboard because I had a tea disaster this morning, and now any time that I press Alt on my keyboard, which I do frequently while editing because I'm, that's, you know, Alt scroll wheel zooms me in in like every one of my applications. Um, every time I press Alt, it also presses F4, and that force quits my program and loses whatever I'm working on. It was kind of a problem. <laughs> So that's actually why I don't have another video out before this. I have, um, I'm mid-editing a snoz guide. I have the snoz strategies all done. That guy was a pain in the butt. I have that all, like, I just need to finish editing it, but I was so slowed down this morning by that, that I'm using, um, I have this little tiny Bluetooth iPad keyboard that I've hooked up to my PC for now, but I need to, uh, I've got, I've got a new keyboard coming tomorrow. A much cheaper one, mind you. I have decided I'm no longer allowed to have expensive mechanical gaming keyboards because all of my gaming is actually on my orb weaver anyways. So I'm just using it to like type and write up scripts and whatever. And uh, I spill tea on them, so it's probably best if they're not expensive. Okay, so. I have a Preheated. Uh, <laughs> gonna grab. My whiskey dude, the one I was using before, is actually the one that goes in here, because I don't actually have another metal whisk. I have, like, a big plastic one, but it doesn't do anything. Uh, let's see. I use a butcher knife to break eggs, but I don't recommend it since it takes a ton of skill to not chop your hand off. That is metal. That is so metal. Okay. So, five minutes. <laughs> that is for you guys, but it's like real loud for me. <laughs> Can you still hear me if I'm talking like this? Snoz is a nightmare. I thought that Shade Flicker was the worst one. Snoz is up there. It really depends on what pets you have. I had to like go catch a couple of specific breeds of wild pets for it. I'm really hoping that the other Macquarie ones, because I've only done Snoz and Shade Flicker so far, I'm really hoping that the rest of the Macquarie ones are better because I am so ready to be done with pet guys. I've been doing them for a long time. And honestly, they take me anywhere between 10 and 20 hours for you each, and it's just, it's not a great use of my time. Like, I'm gonna finish them, but I'm gonna be real glad to see the end of it. All right, you can hear me? All right, good. The old dog will be just one factor, we can hear just fine, okay. I feel like I can't hear myself. Maybe there's just like a magical stream god that smiles on me, and um, makes it so that my mixers are not as picked up as I think they are. Because everything else has like forsaken me, but I don't think there's anything left to really go wrong. Like nothing is wireless. It's not like we have a wireless mic, so it's probably fine. And we're wired into internet. It's obviously a wired webcam. Which is good. I had to go pet hunting to defeat stuff. I thought the rest were easy. This is, I would be like clapping or something if I had another hand, but that is such good news. What pets did you have to farm? I had to go get a different breed of Tiny Twister. I had a full health breed Tiny Twister, and I needed a different breed of Tiny Twister to do him in the elemental. And then I also had to go get another Civic Kitten Flash Mark Duel with the 289 speed. Um, on the beta, or the PTR actually, I had already done that, but because for Wretch, but I, I, I haven't actually done Wretch on live yet, so I haven't got all three of those. So I had to go get another Civic Kitten that had the exact breed that I need. And honestly, some of those strats are still like, here, sit down and try this like seven times and you might get lucky. Because it's just, it's just bad. Once again, getting very fluffy. I feel like with both these egg yolks and the egg yolks from before, um, I feel like a little bit of egg white got in there. But that's okay. I feel like also the air that we're incorporating when we do this whole big, long, um, whisking thing is going to help the cookies rise. A lot of people on the recipe website were saying that the cookies
the pieces are really flat and that they don't think they whisk the eggs enough. So I'm hoping that really committing to the whole five minutes of, of mixing this thing is going to help make it rise. Maybe we can just go to another world and leave old gut stuff for the next expansion. Yeah, I think, um, what if we do the South Sea thing and we're doing my dream of uh, World of Warcraft Wind Waker, we're going to like all the islands. I was going to say, and then your ship sinks and you go to a new world, and then I just realized that's most, or that's for sure. We already did that, nobody liked it. Ugh. Yeah. There's got to be an old god under the sea, right? Like, that's the most Cthulhu thing ever. I'm really hoping this noise isn't too much for my neighbors. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure I'm allowed to run a mixer at 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm even holding up the bowl so it's not like a lot of vibrations on the counter. Is this a new arena? Y'all stop asking! How you living? Okay. Under the sea. Live on Draenor and nuke Azeroth. Draenor? Like, you want us to go back to our garrison? I was a little disappointed that we didn't set fire to our garrisons when we left. Although I'm all ready to set fire to my artifact when I leave Legion, so there's that. The only thing you're glad about is the Burning Legion is almost done, yeah. They ought to be done with demons after the storyline, right? Like, they're not going to bring demons back again. They might do the Scourge another time, they might find an excuse to do the zombie thing all over again, but... This once again looks like a purified banana. Poor Azeroth, <laughs> can't a girl get a break? Yeah, no, the next expansion is just Azeroth dating simulator. We're going to all sorts of different planets and trying to find out which one would be a good Titan mate so that Azeroth and this other planet can make a new planet baby and then we go live on that planet baby. But first we gotta do like a lot of awkward dating simulations. Miss you. Yeah, that's miss you too. We'll come home one day, I promise. Yeah, my mom, you realize you can put the stream on your phone and put it out at the same time? Yo, know, Ryan, you gotta get set up with two monitors. Two monitors is the life. It is the absolute life. Alright. Alright. That was five minutes. This is much lighter color than it was, which was the goal. So, we're gonna set that down. And, uh, check what I'm supposed to be doing to the other one. So, basically, over here, uh, Beat the egg white until they hold soft peaks. While beating, slowly add the salt and the other third of a cup of sugar until combined. So we just need it to hold soft peaks. I probably could have been doing that while I was doing that. But. At least this time I can move this over here. I feel like that one is louder. I'm so insecure about how loud everything in my kitchen is. It's daytime. It's daytime. It's fine. And it's not like I'm running it for hours, but... I am, one day I will have a house where I have my own walls and nobody underneath me and I don't have to worry about that because I feel so bad. I can't really hear you because you're blade starving. But sick alliance apron. Yeah, I gotta represent. I've also got like my ferret, my ferret shirt. You can't really see it, but I've got a ferret shirt on underneath here. The demons will stay? Oh yeah. Sick of seeing green. That's the real thing. We need like a new color scheme. We need, like, a sick new color scheme. Like, Draenor was, like, a lot of red and brown stuff, and then Legion was, like, a lot of lime green stuff. Like, I feel like it's time, I guess we're about to get a purple expansion, because it's going to be, like, a lot of old gods, right? So it's going to be just, like, World of Warcraft. Purple. Broke his heck, so I can't, oh, no. Oh, no. I did life. Um, keep an eye on, um, I, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you're, you, you know your situation better than me, but keep an eye on, like, Secondhand websites because sometimes people will sell um, monitors like real cheap. My sex pack is set in silicon. That's no apron, that's a tabard. <laughs> it is kind of tabardy, you're right. You're right. Purple. Needs more purple. Mm -hmm. Oh no! I dropped water on my recipe and now there's like some text that is not. It's okay, I feel like I know what that used to say. Oh. I was not keeping an eye on that. Um, so does it hold P 
peaks. Stiff peaks. Oh no, not stiff peaks. We're doing stiff peaks later. Uh, it holds... Yeah, it's definitely holding peaks. They might be too stiff, but they're probably fine. <laughs> Um, while beating slowly, add salt and remaining sugar. Okay, so I'm gonna move that to a stir, add the salt, and then the sugar. Um, salt is over here. I made a fresh trip to the arena forms this morning and just came back with like a whole bunch of it, so we're set. And then a third of a cup of sugar. Where'd my third of a cup go? Uh huh. I need to just like attach this to my belt. I need like a tool belt, like the Girl Master belt, but with like my measuring cups and stuff. Um, alright, so we're gonna go stir it. Blaine's turn again, sorry. How much salt? An eighth of a teaspoon, that's like no salt. Uh, that much. And then a third of a cup of sugar. You have a monitor, 20 inch, I didn't think that would work. You also have a laptop, so I don't know if that would work. If your laptop has an HDMI port out, which it probably does if it was made before or after like 20... 13, 2012, 2011 even. If it's got HDMI out, then you can use an HDMI cable, assuming that the monitor has it too, actually. Um, just check your video ports and see if you can connect it, because it very well may work. But it may also impact your performance, so if you're losing a lot of frame rate and wow, then you may decide to not, not go with it. Alright. I'm just going to kind of sprinkle that in. I'm not being super quick. Alright, we're gonna call that incorporated. So, player housing, the baking streams in game. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, gently fold the beaten egg whites into the egg yolk mixture, and then we are going to sift three quarters of a cup of flour. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna measure my flour. This is how I'm gonna sift it, and then. Alright, so I'm gonna lower this one. This is a very complex operation. I preheated my oven like an hour or two early. Alright, so get out of there. Get out of there. Goo -goo. This thing is huge. Uh, this is a really good problem to have. I love this mixer. Oh boy. Oh. Ah. Don't eat raw eggs, kids. <laughs> fever mini game already? Did they? How? What? I can't wait for the day we fight Queen Ashara. I feel like I've been waiting for them to do something more with Ashara ever since um, Kata when we went and did the... What was that dungeon called where we got to like see her with her handmaids and stuff? Like the Well of Eternity? That was a good one. That was a really good one. And like her model was gorgeous. And they did use that again, right? Like I could have sworn that we saw that again. Okay. So... We're going to... Oh, I forgot to prepare my, um, baking sheet. Okay. Hang on. Baking sheet. Parchment. egg whites and kind of floopy egg yolks and I feel like all of that air is what's going to give our cookies some rise assuming that they rise they're probably going to be flat as pancakes but that's alright uh, there we go and now we're going to sift on two thirds of a cup of flour three quarters of a cup of flour we're going to sift in three quarters of a cup of flour we're going to fold that too okay. so these are almost ready to get like piped and baked I'm very excited because I've never even eaten a ladyfinger before. I guess I've eaten them in tiramisu, but they're always like soaked with rum at that point, and it's kind of a different experience. Uh, Alright, so half cup. I don't have enough hands. <laughs> Let's measure. Let's start with a half cup. Boop, 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 boop. 
I know this is not a normal sifter, but it's gonna have to do. Also, it's like nice and compact. And it's got like a cool crank thing that makes me feel like I'm camping. Uh, and then the quarter cup. I'm just gonna shake that one because that looks about right. And I wonder why my bakes don't always turn out. Alright. That has been sifted. And we're gonna fold this in as well. I'm gonna close off. Oop, I need that knife. <laughs> uh, close off flour and put it somewhere for now. Fold in the flour. It's like not that much flour. This is like 90% eggs. I bet these cookies are like half meringues. Let's keep folding. Fold. You don't want to like beat it. Okay. Because um, <laughs> you don't want to beat it because again you want to keep the air in it. I'm saying that like I know. I don't know. It just sounds right. It sounds like something I heard somebody say. Why is my elbow up so high? Yo Skeeter Bun! You've got, a, you've got an acorn now. Thanks for the sponsor. I need to double check, but I think that we're either at the point or one sponsor away from being able to have a third emote, which means I need to figure out my life. <laughs> oh man. I've been, I was getting so frustrated. All right, that's been folded in. We're gonna, we're gonna pipe out. We're gonna pipe those out into three and a half inch little blobs, lady finger blobs on here. So basically, I'm gonna put it all in here because who buys piping bags when he has Ziplocs in the cupboard? Uh, I don't know how to put this in. <laughs> Somebody hold this for me. <laughs> uh, ooh. Oh gosh. Sometimes I watch like really big YouTubers and they have like teams and managers and like people to help them film and edit and stuff. And I'm like, man, I wish I had friends. <laughs> like I know you pay them, but it just, maybe it's just because they're on camera, but they make it look like a lot of fun. I'm like, man, one day, that's my goal. <laughs> my goal is to make enough YouTube videos that I just make myself some friends. Oh boy. All right, uh, more, more. I'm not gonna wash my hands until we've just got all this in here. This is gonna be a giant. I'm gonna do this over the sink. I'm gonna do this over the sink. The bag is still closed, so it's not like I'm getting any sick contamination inside of my bag. Uh, oh gosh. It's okay if, oh, I did not fold that all the way. It's okay if I get my everything covered in batter. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, you guys can't see me and that's okay too. All right, well that's most of it. I feel like I don't need as many lady figures as it's gonna make anyway, so. So, I can kind of like squish fold it a little bit more in the bag. We've got some flour. It kind of looks like a waffle batter actually. We have sponsors now, we got sponsors. I work for Hazel. Man. I, uh, I am kind of awful to live with, so I'd probably be even worse to work for. I save all of my happiness and positivity for, like, the stream and videos, and I'm just evil. I'm just raw evil the rest of the time. Okay, so I'm going to pipe this into three and a half inch fingers, one and a half inches apart, in rows. Alright. Uh... I feel like I need to be pretty fast, so I cut like a real big hole in that. And it's okay if they're like weirdly shaped, because um, because I'm just soaking them in coffee and rum and putting them into tiramisu anyways, right? I'm not serving these to the Italian fairy. I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't think of what their political leader was. Um, and then more rows. They're kind of oozy a little bit. Also, I don't know if they should, I don't know if this should be, it's like, you know what? I didn't incorporate the flour enough. You can see, and maybe I'll show, I'll pick up the camera and show you in a minute. You can kind of see, um, some of them have like a, a floof. I did not fold enough. So the rest of it without the flour is kind of like too liquid. All right. Well, if it all puts it, if it all like melds into one thing, that's fine too. I need to make another tray of these, but I thought I was going to be able to get away with one tray. Uh, I'm gonna put this in this bowl. <laughs> My hands are just filthy. I'm trying not to touch anything. Uh, we're gonna bake these, but like you see how the flour did not get completely folded into some of these. Anyways, before I dump that on my laptop, let me just throw it in uh, for 15 minutes. All right. 15 minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna make a second tray of those. 
Should I like squoosh it more to like try and make the flower? I don't want to squoosh all the air out of it. Oh man. Haven't seen you baking live for a while. I got the wow cookbook because of you. Nice. Nice, Mariana. Waffles. I love waffles, right? I am of the opinion, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to turn down a pancake, but I'm of the opinion that waffles are the superior form of, like, breakfast fluffy thing to eat. Perfect. Started playing my priest again because I saw it was 109 and that bothered me, so now I love my priest and I can't stop playing it. Yeah, Sean, what spec are you playing? Are you, are you on that shadow life or do you decide to help people and stuff? Okay, so, are you going to pan? I'm going to get my <laughs> super messy bag. Oh god, it's just got like flat, it's just got batter everywhere. Let's keep going. We're not gonna give up. We're gonna keep making the weird glob fingers. How did the flower not like get in there? I was folding. I did the, I did the folder. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, well, note to self if I do these again. Fold more. <laughs> fold more aggressively. Don't be too afraid of, of the squish. Because there is not enough flour in these because it is like coming out in like floops. It's like the weirdest thing. Everything about this is like super wet, except for like these little dry pockets of flour. All right, and probably gonna like one more. These are not going to be pretty. Oh, okay. So, note to, note, note, note for future. You can make tiramisu without doing this, you just have to buy a ladyfinger, which means you have to find them in the store, which I am not capable of, because I can't find them. So. Alright. Good for your skin, right? Right? Those will go in for 15 minutes, too. Should I just put them in now instead of a separate timer, or should I? I don't know. I'll probably just wait. They can chill. They might end up really flat, but whatever. Whatevs. Alright, let me clean up, like, a little bit. Because I have some batter in places it should not be. Okay, keep the vanilla out because I might need that later. Salt goes over here. I think we're done with the flour at this point, so I'm gonna put that away. And then remember that I need it for something else, then take it out again. Uh, Shadow Priest is the most fun priest. Can I sponsor for free? I mean, you can be a sponsor in your heart. Uh, uh, I never, ever, ever expect anybody to sponsor or donate. It's awesome and amazing when you do, but it's just as awesome and amazing that people come here to talk to me. That's really, that's really all I want for my life. Hazel, how's your week been so far? So thank you to Gurgis. I have had like a medium week so far. Like I've been in a really good mood. I've been like pretty happy and you know, getting some stuff done and having a good life, except that I keep breaking stuff. <laughs> I broke like a teacup. I broke my keyboard. I broke, I knocked over the soy sauce. I don't know. It's been, I've, I've <laughs> gone through some stuff, but it's okay. You know, it's my business. So if I need to have, like, a line of expenses for stuff that I spilled tea on, then that's okay. <laughs> no thanks, Norma. Go for tiramisu. Mm. Sarah, and late nights here, too. We got lady fingers in the oven. Um, I'm going to clean some of this stuff up, and then we're going to establish what our next steps are, because we still have... Oh, on my phone, that's where the timer is. We still have half an hour left on the egg stuff in the fridge. Which is about the same amount of time it's going to even make a ladyfinger, so this is actually working out really well. But right now, I'm going to scooch the camera, and we're going to do some dishes. Also, I have a piece of batter on my camera. Wait, that. There we go. I feel like all of this egg stuff is going to harden into molten lava. Molten, molten lava. Click this. Okay, all right. Cups, 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 cups. I don't think I need this anymore. I don't know which mixtures I'm gonna need. I guess we should go over our stuff now. So, after the cookies are baked and the stuff comes out of the fridge. All right, after the cookies are baked, we are going to beat whipping cream with vanilla until it like whips, until stiff peaks form. And then, at the same time, we're going to take the egg stuff out of the fridge and whisk a pound of mascarpone cheese into it until smooth. Then, in a small cup bowl, we're going to combine a quarter cup of coffee and two tablespoons, or more, of rum. Uh, we'll split our lady fingers in half lengthwise, hoping that they've puffed up enough that I can split them in half, and drizzle them with a coffee mixture. We're going to arrange half of the soaked lady fingers in the bottom of the dish, spread half of the mascarpone mixture, we're basically making um, lasagna, but with like nice stuff. Half of whipped cream, 
peel it with layers and sprinkle it with cocoa. Um, one thing, we are not going to be able to eat this on stream because it takes six hours to set. <laughs> and I got other stuff to do. So I will try and do my best to make an Instagram post and maybe like an Instagram... What's that thing that's Instagram is like Snapchat? Instagram stories? I'll try, I'll try and like make a little video of like actually showing you how it sets and whatever. Um, later today. <laughs> when it's actually set like at dessert time. So for now, I guess I'll just clean all this stuff. I don't really need to, I guess we, we, we're gonna need the stand mixer to make the whipped cream. And then at the same time, I'll probably just hand whisk the mess for pony. Eh, maybe I'll use the other one. I'll just clean everything. We're just cleaning everything. No rum, Marcella. I have very limited alcohol in this house, so we're going with rum. Because I already have it and that's, that's what I tend to drink. Rum is like my favorite thing to mix. If I'm making a mixed drink, I'm usually doing it with rum because it's like, it's, it's got some flavor. It's not like when you mix vodka with stuff, you're just making it gross and alcoholic. Like when you, how do they get so sticky? When you mix rum with something. You know, there's, there's like a party going on. You got like a tropical party going on. Rum and grapefruit juice. Sounds strange. I swear by it. It's, it's my thing. It's my jam. Like spiced rum. Hazel, you will stream for us. You will spend six hours streaming for us. Like, after the three that it's taking me to put this together, because you'll be watching a stream of Hazel napping on a stool. Uh, are we over good enough? Yeah. What time is it? All of my clocks- okay, that one there. Four o'clock. I was thinking, all of my clocks have timers on them, none of them is going to tell me the actual time. Alright. Alright. Speed wash. Speed wash. While well, making sure to get the egg off everything, because that will be impossible to get off. Although, I'm actually really proud of myself. So when I was- making the egg custard tart off baking stream. You didn't miss a baking stream, I did this off stream. Um, when I was making that tart on the British Baking Show, whenever I watch it, people sometimes go, you know, for this custard tart, I'm actually going to pour the liquid into the pie shell when it's already on the shelf in the oven so I don't spill it everywhere. And I'm like, man, that's a great idea. So I did that and I spilled it everywhere. <laughs> um, and like, all over the bottom of my oven. The bake was already started at that point, so there was no cleaning it really until like it was already baked on. So I had, I basically had a huge mangled, charred mess of like egg custard on the bottom of my oven. I'm like, there's no way I'm ever going to be able to <laughs> clean this to a point where my fire alarm does not go off every time I preheat my oven. But what I ended up doing, I actually managed to do it. I took like a lot of baking soda, because I had this huge thing of baking soda. I took a lot of it with water and made like a paste, and then I like slapped that on over like every bit of it, like huge, huge chunks of this. And then I left it overnight, and in the morning everything kind of came off with like a damp cloth and like a little bit of vinegar. It was great. My oven works again. It's beautiful. Did you already do the pet battle quest? Uh, which pet battle quest? <laughs> which one? Spiced or normal? Definitely spiced rum. I don't know if I've ever had non-spiced rum though, so maybe I would really like it. Why am I done? I'm not. I'm drying my hands. There's dishes still here. What am I doing? What am I doing? I just missed you guys. <laughs> Hazel versus Trey Chet. Fight. Why would I fight? I love Trey Chet. I don't really, I, I, I don't really want to fight with anybody. I think everybody that is making content is inspirational and somebody to be looked up to. It's a lot of work and everybody does a great job and they do it in their own way. And that's awesome. That's awesome. More flavors of stuff to watch on the internet can only be a good thing. Don't, don't go making beef where it doesn't exist. I'm just trying to be a, a blood pain. <laughs> Why is the rum gone? I have not watched a Pirates movie in so long, and you've made me realize that I want to, because I used to love those movies. I used to love those movies. I had the first one on uh, Disney DVD <laughs> as, a, as a kid, and we only had like six DVDs. It was like that one, Shrek, um, this soccer movie with this really cute British chick. I've already forgotten. Bend it like Beckham. <laughs> so we had Shrek, Shrek, Bend it like Beckham, and then we had uh, the first part of the Caribbean movie. And I would watch all of those just like repeatedly, because what else are you gonna do? <laughs> oh, and then we had like all the seasons of Friends. So it's very hard to slip a Friends reference past me that I don't catch. Oh, I used to make them all the time, but none of my friends were as into Friends as I was. Which I understand now sounds like a strange thing. But none of my friends were as into the show friends as I was, so they didn't get it. So I meant to just gave up. It's very sad. Uh, PvP pedals for the critter thing have to win five. Oh! Is it pet battle week right now? Shoot, I didn't know. No, I haven't done that yet. Maybe we'll do that on stream this week. I was thinking on stream, we can do that. And then 
wouldn't hurt if uh, we did a little more Death Knight stuff because there are like still a bunch more dungeons and I need to actually kill Kill Jaden. So I was thinking of like tanking Kill Jaden hello far, and I'm gonna need to bring some people to uh, uh, save me when I ruin it. Like I'll look up what I'm supposed to do and do my best, but that does not mean it's gonna go well. Also, I need some relics for my blood weapon. Everything else is fine. The relic situation not so good. So in here. Those are really brown already. They've only been in there for 10 minutes. Maybe with these ones, maybe I'll take like a little spoon and try and mix some of the flour more in. I'm wondering if like the concentration of sugar, oh gosh, I'm just ruining it. I'm just mangling it. I wonder if the concentration, all right, that's a bad idea, <laughs> um, of sugar because the flour didn't get fully incorporated in is just causing problems like, It also says hard to the touch, so I guess I should poke it like I was telling myself I shouldn't do. Let me, like, let me, hang on. Hard? Firm. Alright. Well, they're very golden. Maybe they'll firm up when they cool. I'm just gonna put the other ones in. in any longer like I don't know if you can see them they're really golden I feel like I would love, if I love them in any longer they would like burn and I would rather have them be a little fluffy than underdone um <laughs> no one told you life was gonna be this way right that's actually another movie I need to watch again just have like a like you know how I don't know I don't know if anybody else did this but like growing up my teenage friends at the time, like my high school friends, every now and then, like every year almost, we would all get together at somebody's house and watch all of the Lord of the Rings extended editions. And I'm only kind of into Lord of the Rings. Like, it's fine, don't get me wrong, it's great, like, but that's a lot of movies. And it was a fine party and it was a good excuse to, like, hang out with my friends. But I feel like that party would be way more fun if you just, like, chain-watched all of the Shrek movies. <laughs> or all of the Harry Potter movies, but that takes longer because there's, like, eight of them, right? <laughs> I'm doing the Wailing Caverns. Good luck! You want Futurama back? You and my guild leader. That man is just so into Futurama that it's a bit frightening. Kira Knightley was in Bendit Like Beckham and the first Pirates movie. That is true. That is true. Maybe my mom, maybe my mom had a thing for Kira Knightley. I forgot that she was in Bendit Like Beckham, actually. My favorite genre of music. Man, I have gone through some phases on this. I am one of those people that's like, oh, I'll listen to anything as long as it's not country music because it's kind of my life. But if I had, like, the stuff that I play on a daily basis is from, like, three categories. One, if I am working, like, if I'm trying to actually get something done, I will go into Apple Music and I will find, they have, like, these moods. And in the focus mood, they have, like, a, a really chill jazz. They have, like, the zone in and concentration playlist. And they have really weird plunky plunky music, but I swear they help me concentrate. <laughs> So I'll listen to those, and then if I'm just like cooking or driving somewhere, then I really like to turn up the K-pop. <laughs> I really like me some K-pop, I'm not ashamed, it's really fun. Um, I don't follow it super intensely anymore, but I still like the tunes. And then otherwise, uh, just whatever pop and hip-hop music tends to be popular, I'll give it a listen, and if I like it, I'll put it on my playlist, and if I don't like it, I'll skip it. But mostly just a lot of pop and K-pop with the occasional meditation music. Um, as a teenager, I was all about the heavy metal, but I think I've, I, I think I've moved on. I try sometimes, and I'm like, uh, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. I went as Fiona for Halloween one year. I was green for a week. Oh, man. I have never tried anything with, um, body paint. Even back when I used to do cosplay, which was a long time ago. I never tried anything with body paint, and I don't think I ever will. Like, I don't, if I ever did an elf cosplay, I'm going to be a very pale elf, and I don't think I would. I've accepted that cosplay is something that should be done by people that are really good at it, and that's just not something I have time for. Futurama, way better than The Simpsons? I don't know, I, ha I haven't really seen The Simpsons. Because when I was a kid, I wasn't allowed to watch it because my mom was like, it's for adults. And she was probably right. And then when I was an adult, I didn't want to watch it because I was like, well, my mom said I shouldn't, and then somebody's like, Hazel, you're 22. And then I was like, well, okay, it doesn't look all that funny. <laughs> Like, I missed the window of time when it would have been funny, so I never really saw it. 
K-pop boy bands or girl bands? Uh, both. Both. I don't, I don't really pick sides. I probably follow more boy groups than girl groups, but I am more passionate about the girl groups that I follow. And my favorite one has boys and girls in it. Um, Card is like my favorite. Uh, they've got they've got two two dudes and, and two girls and they're all amazing and I love them all. <laughs> okay, so that is doing okay. Oh, these have flattened a bit, huh? <laughs> Those are terrible lady fingers. Okay, we're not gonna split them at half lengthwise. We're just gonna do the rum thing on them. Those are really bad. They have flattened. They're kind of gummy. Like, we're doing this anyways, but those are really bad. If this was Great British Baking Show, I would be starting over again. I don't know what I would do. I mean, I guess I would fold the flour in more. These look nothing like the picture. Because I beat everything, like, a lot. Like, I beat the full five minutes. The egg whites were more than holding their peaks. Bread. <laughs> it's a bummer. I love The Simpsons, what do you mean? I've just never seen them. They, maybe it's like my favorite thing ever, I just haven't seen it. This poor lady's maimed, yeah. Yeah. Let me show you, let me take you a tour through what these ladies think, what's happened with these. Okay. So like, the color's all right. The color's all right, but they're kind of like, okay, well one, they're horribly stuck to the parchment. You know what? On the inside, they have a nice crumb. They have like, and they're not gummy. They're nice and chewy and fluffy. They're just like a really horrible shape. So I'm gonna take a knife and I'm gonna pry these off the thing because I'm not serving them as cookies. I'm putting them in tiramisu and everything's gonna be okay. All right, let me, I'm just gonna like make a plate. Uh, I don't want a plate. I'm just gonna make a lady fingers plate. We're just gonna get it on there. And if it's in big chunks, that's fine because again, soaking with rum. Um, I've never read a mythic. <laughs> Am I bad? You are not bad. You're something that ha somebody that hasn't done anything. I've never run a marathon. That doesn't make me bad. It just makes me inferior to my sister. Okay. All right. Let's do some. Let's do some finger crying. It's a very good thing these are not real people's fingers because this would be extremely painful. Uh, uh. Yeah, these are coming off in pieces. These are coming off in some pieces. Is this still hot or am I just wearing this glove for fun? Alright. That does not look good. That does not look good. I feel like I don't need to glove. I don't. Alright, we're good. Um, this might be better with like a metal scraper thingy. But like I said, they've got a good crumb and they taste good. They're not very fluffy. I feel like it's gonna be kind of a flat tiramisu because the layers that are supposed to be like all lady fingered up are gonna be kind of not. So there's another version of this that you can make. Like the traditional version definitely uses lady fingers. But um, the version that they made on the British Baking Show, they actually just make like a little sponge cake that they use for the drizzling with coffee and, and liquor. And, or liqueur. Yeah. And that might be easier. If I ever do this again, if I ever refine the Duskwood Tiramisu, that's probably the route that I'm gonna go. Alright. Oh, really bad. Really bad. Alright. Those are more like cookies. These? These are not like cookies. I want fish fingers now. I really want fish fingers. I mean, I can see how that could happen. Sometimes I'll see a picture of somebody. Actually, once this happened, so I was looking on my Twitter and I saw a photo that Sloop Bag had posted and he was holding a bagel. And it was like a glorious bagel. And I was like, you know what? I really want donuts. <laughs> Cause it kind of looked like a donut. And then I read the thing and I'm like, of course it's a bagel, it's a loop bag. But I still wanted donuts. I ended up actually, we, we went out that day and I got us some donuts. Ugh. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Mistakes have been made. Hmm. Well, the good news is that I did that on parchment and not like directly on a pan. So I can just throw the parchment out now and that's all fine. The ones in the oven are gonna blow up. 
They look okay so far. They look okay. I set the timer for shorter time to make sure that I don't burn them. Should pass them through the screen for viewers. I don't know. I don't think you really want to eat this. It's going to be a, a tiramisu component, but right now it does not look appetizing. New Overwatch Halloween event starting today? I know. The skins! The skins! I don't know when I'm going to play this. And I don't have any gold for tokens, and I also don't really have any money for tokens that should go to tokens anyway, or that should go to loot boxes, but there's three skins in particular that I, like, need. Like, the Ana, the Corsair Ana, like her. Oh. And then Zenny. With the, with the, like, I don't even remember what it's called. It's like Cthulhu Zenny. It's like Old God Zenny. It's amazing. And then, um, there's one more. 80s Zarya. 80s Zarya with, like, the hair and, like, like the outfit. Oh, I want them. I need them really badly. And because of the, um, I might get lucky because you don't really get dupl duplicates as more as much as you used to. So, and I have a lot of existing skins. Like, I have a lot of the existing skins because I did used to use WoW Gold to buy, like, a bunch of loot boxes. So, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Okay. Alright, what am I doing? Um, I can put this away now. So those are still baking. We'll let those cool for a bit. I guess now would be as good a time as any to make the chocolate stuff. Because there's no harm in letting the egg stuff cool like a little more. And the cookies will need to cool anyways. Because next thing that we're doing, everything else is pretty straightforward. So. I'm gonna give those an extra light. Two minutes. They're not completely brown on top, and they're really supposed to cook for like another seven, so maybe they'll firm up more in, with more time in the oven. I might have taken those ones out earlier. Uh, no more fell spotted egg farming. Congrats, Darithin! Zen and Otter are the best ones. You got the Reaper skin. The Reaper skin's pretty sweet, but I'm already using a Reaper skin that I really like. I've already forgot which one it is. He has like a lot of good skins, though. Um. You. If the event is fun, let me know if you want to run it. I will, I will. Pretty necklace, story behind it. Thank you. Um, you could see the moment where I actually read your message and then went up to read more of them because I was like touching it. Uh, I used to wear a necklace a lot like this, but had like a little pearl on it instead of this one, which is a fire opal. And um, my husband had got me that one back when we were still dating as like a birthday gift. And I eventually lost it and I was very upset about that. <laughs> and then not last year, not the year before, but the year before that, I think about two years ago, for my birthday, he was like, what do you want? I'm like, I need another necklace. So we went out and bought the thing and the chain, and, and now I have it. I really like really simple, simple jewelry like this. Um, I'm getting a new PC, and I'm going to get a character boost so I can play with my dad on my new account. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Grats on your new PC. I've been kind of like mentally... I've been kind of mentally piecing together what I need to do for my computer when I'm ready to do something with my computer. I'm thinking of doing it because I need, because like, it's having a real hard time when I start editing and adding in effects and the renders are getting kind of choppy and it just has odd problems. <laughs> like I've been using some of those parts for like five years now and I've been running them really hard and it's just not keeping up with what I wanted to do. So I was thinking um, in January, if I can afford it, it's going to really depend on whether or not we're able to buy a house. If we're able to buy a house, then we're not going to be able to buy anything else like fridges. <laughs> So in that, in that case, I'll just live. I'll just deal. But if we don't buy the house, and we end up renting again, and I can afford to, I'm thinking of doing like a partial rebuild with like a new processor, motherboard, RAM, and maybe a new graphics card. Like I have a 1070 in there, but if I'm putting a crazy, crazy butts processor in, it wouldn't kill me to step up to a 1080 Ti. All right, so. and do a partial rebuild. I don't know what to do. Yes, that hero in here? Oh, here's live knocking people off the middle and I have a storm. This month on Saturday is my nine year WoW anniversary, which coincides with my nephew's birthday and the Wrath repatch all those years ago. That is a lot of things in one day. Buy the house. No, I would love to, I would love to. It's just a matter of getting a down payment together, which right now we're not in good shape for. Some stuff, some stuff really set us back, for sure. Okay, so I am right now doing some chocolate work. Uh, I actually had a thing pulled up. I had googled how to temper chocolate. Um, I've never done this before. It's kind of specific. So basically what we're doing is we're going to be 
melting chocolate chips over a bain marie, which is like a bowl of hot water that you're like boiling on the stove. And there's another bowl on top of it with like chocolate in it. I have a thermometer. I actually haven't opened this yet because I've never used it, but I got it just for this. Um, uh, this, is, this is why I can't buy a house, is because I'm not giving up on baking pot. And I keep getting stuff. All right. So we have a thermometer. I think it's a meat thermometer, but it should do. It's like a chef's thermometer. I'm a chef. All right. It's got like all of these meat temperatures that I'm never going to use. All right. So how do I read this? Fahrenheit on the top. Okay. So. I guess I should heat up some water and then there's like a way to do it. You like heat it and then you cool it and then you like heat it or something. I'll look it up, but we're going to try our best to do that. And then we'll just drizzle it with a spoon on some parchment and hope for the best. And that'll be like some chocolate thingies, like spider webs ideally, but most likely little blue bloops that we're going to throw on top of our tiramisu when it's done. And game on Saturday is the No More Gone run, which is based off the running of the gnomes. Are you going to come to Scarlet Crusade and run? I might, I might, but I'm not gonna give 100% because I'm not 100% sure that I will be home. Uh, we love your videos in North Carolina. You're the best, thanks Adam. Greetings to North Carolina. Oh, what was that sound? I have no idea. Anyways, uh, how to temper chocolate. Let's go back to Google. You bought a house 10 years ago. You made so much on it that you now own outright in a cheaper area. Dang, that's the dream. That's the dream right there. Okay, so, finally chop. Should we finally chop it? I could like food processor chop it. It's already in chocolate chips though, so I don't think I'm gonna need chocolate that much, chop it really much. Place two thirds of it in a bowl set over a saucepan of simmering water. So I'm gonna simmer some water in the saucepan over like, I'm gonna say medium high heat. I don't know why I wouldn't want to do it on high. I guess I'll, I'll boil it on high and boil it faster, and then we'll turn it down. I know the water shouldn't touch the bottom of the bowl, so the water doesn't need to be all the way hot. All right. Or all the way full, rather. Oh, yeah. I can do that open. So. That over there, I'm going to take that tray off, actually. We don't need this anymore. We're going to... Break those to live over there with their friends. Do they pick up? Can I pick this up? Oh, oh, no, 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 I can't. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna heat up for now. These, oh, oh, it, I picked it up. I made one lady finger that holds together. It's a really ugly shape, but I don't care, I made it. It's kind of flat, but that's fine too. Uh, I think I just took the, other, the first ones out too early, actually. Everything else seems to be mostly okay. And would have been better had I folded in all the flowers. So we're doing alright, we're doing alright. I was just really afraid of burning them. I was real afraid that I would just burn them. Alright. They're so janky looking, but that's fine. Totally fine. Okay. I have one plate of something that will work for this for later. So that is boil or heating. These are for later. He I mean lady fingers kind of Okay. Set two thirds of the chocolate in the bowl, which we'll set over top of there when we're ready. Do not let the temperature of the chocolate exceed like 100 105. Do not let it exceed 105 Fahrenheit. When it is fully melted, remove the bowl from the heat, wipe the bottom of the bowl, stir in the remaining third, let it melt, let it cool to 82, put it back over, reheat to 85, then remove from heat and throw it on the paper. Okay. So I'm going to prepare my parchment first. I'm going to keep this open because I'm never going to remember those numbers. And I guess I just keep like the, the thermometer in there at all times. New account means no loom mounts your pets. Oh, that's rough. I'm actually really afraid of that. Like, when I eventually one day have an EU account, I'm not gonna have anything on it. What am I gonna do? I just recently got my Lord of the Rings achievement, so I have 300 mounts now, which is like lots to choose from. I have this pretty blue cloud serpent, and I won't be able to even use it. Alright, so should I use a pretty small bowl, I bet? Let's use. Medium-ish high heat. We put 
two-thirds of this in, so not all of it, two-thirds. Actually, I don't need to temper this whole thing, do I? How much chocolate is really going on top of this tiramisu? All right, well, we'll do some, and then we'll add some more. If I do temper all of it, then that's fine. So like, about that much, okay? Close this for now. I'm gonna just like stick my thermometer up in there. Ah! Maybe not. And, uh, you know, call my hair. What do you think of worgens? I like worgens. I prefer worgen males to worgen females, and I prefer worgens in um, melee DPS roles as opposed to casters. But I think they look cool. When I watch your videos, I feel like a cheater. I, there's no, there's no shame in looking stuff up. There is no shame in looking stuff up. I would not have learned how to do anything in my life had I not looked stuff up. I don't mind soften if they are house trained. I missed something. Kratz, I'm too short for my 300 to achieve. Have you finished getting the Argus mounts yet? Because there are a lot of mounts on Argus. It was the um, the ruined striders that really put me over the edge. Getting exalted with Argusian Reach. Okay, so that just means that I can take the custard out of the oven, or out of the fridge whenever I need to. I need to sleep, so see you. See how this turns out in the vlog. Good luck. See you later, Mariana. <sighs> whenever I try pet battles in my zones, so my base level pets get one shot and I get mad and shout at a strike. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you are level 110, my best recommendation to you is get a boon of the zookeeper for your shoulders from the pet shop in Dalaran. Run around with that, and you'll get these bags of pet goodies occasionally dropping, and they'll have some pet charms in them. And once you have 45 pet charms, you can buy an ultimate battle training stone to boost one of your pets instantly to 25, which skips the whole first time leveling process. And then the other thing is that some of the tamers now have scaling technology. Um, Chrysa in the Northern Barrens and Environeer Burt in the tra Deep Run Tram, not the Deep Run Tram, Environeer Burt in Nomergon, both have scaling technology so that their pets will actually scale to your pet's level when you fight them. So that's, that's my best, my best advice to you. So I'm gonna take a spoon. Keep melting. Alright, right now it's a very tacky chopper, but that's fine. Whew, I don't like the snitching of organs. My Dren I male dude itches his butt a lot. I gotta log into all the other Blizzard games I own for the BlizzCon ticket. I was a little, um, not disappointed, but I don't know how I feel about the new BlizzCon Winston skin. Like, I'm gonna get it because I have the original ticket, and it's, it's fine, but I guess I just don't want any Winston. <laughs> All the chocolate, just like, cover it and be like, yo, everything that this lacks in Ladyfingers is gonna make up for it, just like, chocolate on top. If your accounts are linked, wouldn't they share those? I don't think they do. I think that they don't. <laughs> you would think that they do, but I don't think they do. 2x Kettle's Commitments. I don't actually use I don't actually use the front one. That was what I used before I got the back one, um, and I haven't talked my husband into letting him take it to work or having him take it to work with him so he can make tea at work. He like doesn't want to. I don't know why he doesn't want to. Maybe there's just like no room. I don't know. Right. So right now there's just like a gooey paste on the bottom of the bowl and like a bunch of chocolate chips in there. So I feel like I can't even stick the thermometer in there yet because like there's nothing to stick it in yet. So we'll we'll give it a sec. Today's Emissary of Suramar, one of the world quests should give charms. If you're a paladin like me and are terrible at pet hand battling, just use these silver hand orders to cheese it. I am so jealous of classes. I don't know which ones. I know paladins, but I don't know if anybody else gets this. Probably at least some classes. But classes that have the ability to auto-complete world quests from their order call, because you can use that on those PvP ones like the Murloc Freedom and the Bareback Brawl and the Dark, Dark Burrow Rumble and whatever, you can use it on those ones and get the, um, the achievement with the mount. Like, I have to go into that cave and actually do the dark roll thing, and I'm still, I'm, I'm still only like six of 20. I want to auto-complete that really badly. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Oh. Okay, so we need to not let it exceed 105 degrees. Okay, we're at 80. It smells really weird. Okay, so melt it. Go 
105. And then we're going to remove the, remove from the heat, stir in more chocolate, let it melt, and let it cool to 82. So right now we're up to 90. I've never done this before. I'm so scared. Also, I'm sorry because I can't talk and you're just seeing my back right now. when it reaches 105. That's like the max that you want it to reach. Uh, see you later, Ender. You know Locke and DK can too? Okay. All right. So a little bit more. Another third fourth. And now we're gonna stir that in and we need to let it cool until it reaches, what did I say, 82, 84, 82? I'll figure on eight degrees, just BT devs. Do I hear a fan? Yeah, I've got the, I've got the um, oven fan on right now. Pet charms for Manage Hat, but that's the only World Quest with charms. Okay. That's actually a really good idea. Auto, like, if your class can, auto complete a World Quest with pet charms if you've never loved a pet before. That's a really good idea. I never thought of that because my class can't do that. Okay. So now we cool back down to about 90. What's the best you made so far? Firecracker salmon, real good. Mana strudels, real good. All of the bread, real good. Depends on what you want to eat, really. Oh, the brownies, real good. Dollar on brownies, good. Okay. All right, so this is actually heated up more. That's weird. But not past 105, so that's something. Should I add more chocolate to help it cool? I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt. Let's add, let's add a little bit more chocolate. I'll bring this over here, it's not that hot. That's it, like, 100 and, why is it getting hotter? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, it's off the heat now. <laughs> and I just put more stuff in. What are you baking? I don't know what that is in the description. I'm baking a tiramisu, which is like an Italian dessert. It's got some layers. Um, it's got some flavors that include coffee and chocolate. Um, I'm right now tempering, or I'm trying to temper some chocolate to make like some chocolate decorations for the top. I've never done this before, so I'm terrified. So we're gonna mix in more to try and bring the temperature down. I have like a little thermometer and I'm just like, why are you getting hotter still? Put a little more in here. Why are dinosaurs not able to clap? They're extinct. Oh, okay. Gotta go, this was fun. See you later, Volcron, have a good day. Have you ever cooked something and thought, who just put this stuff together and invented this? Yes, actually. Pretty much every time I bake, and I'm like, all right, we're going to take some, some milk from a cow and some eggs from chickens, and then some flour that somebody got from, like, grinding some plants together, and then, like, you know, a little sodium bicarbonate, you know, we just found that somewhere, and decided, let's throw this in with this other stuff. Like, obviously that's not how it happened, but it's just odd to think about. All right, this needs to cool to 80... We're cooling it to 82, and then we're reheating it to 85, and then we're drizzling. But it's not cooling, so I guess I'm just continuing. I guess I could wait. Um, the bowl seems... I, I was supposed to use a metal bowl. I used a glass bowl. I feel like a metal bowl would have cooled faster. Like, my bowl has held a lot of heat. 
I could put it over cold water. I could put my bowl in another bowl of cold water, but I don't really want to mess with it too much. I feel like dropping the temperature too quickly could also do something really strange. So I'm just going to continue stirring in unmelted chocolate chips. <laughs> you make like a lot of chocolate stuff. Um, and wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Ah. Smasher Pass Chris Metzen. Smasher Pass is like a really mean game. And I'm also just super married. I don't know if you're supposed to do that when you're married. Italian dessert, chocolate, or coffee, depending on the recipe. It's a fixture at some Italian restaurants, at least where I live. It's a fixture at restaurants that aren't even close to Italian around here. Like, they'll, they have, like, one spaghetti on the menu, and they'll serve you tiramisu. I don't know if it's an authentic tiramisu, but it is always delicious. This one has both chocolate and coffee in it. Can only talk it too quickly, can make it separate. Yeah, so I feel like instead of the ice thing, we're just gonna let it, we're just gonna let it live its life. It is still at 100, assuming that my thermometer is, let me stir with the thermometer. <laughs> Assuming that my thermometer is living its life properly, it is still at 100 degrees. Should I clean my thermometer? Like, should I, like, rinse it off to make sure that it's not just, like, stuck? I don't know. I've never used one before. Uh, let's clean it up. And then put it in cold water and see if it changes. Yes. Yes, it does. Slowly, mind you. Very slowly. Extremely slowly. But it does change. Okay. So, with that in mind, what temperature is this chocolate now? Because I feel like there's no way it's still 100 degrees. Let me give it a minute. I'm also measuring with just like the very tip of this thing, part of which is touching the warm bowl, so I don't know if I'm really getting an accurate reading here. Give that a minute to let it think about what it's done. Whew. Worms br- worm, worms bum. Coffee and chocolate. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, the candy making thermometer, the one you're using, is for me. I thought it would, It says, um, like I ordered a candy thermometer. It is for me. You're right. It isn't. S yeah, no, it says for me. Well, whatever. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right. So that looks like it's not still rising. We'll see how often I need to do this as to whether or not I can actually get a candy thermometer. It's, I don't cook meat. Oh, I'm pescatarian. I guess I could check the temperature of my fish. Or like, I don't know. All right, so that looks like it's about 95, that we still need to cool another 10 degrees or so. At least it's giving, it's giving me a temperature reading, right? Oh, Hazel, how does one not die so often as a shadow priest? Um, step one, make sure that you're not using Surrender to Madness. That talent had its heyday, and it, that heyday is over. Uh, step two, key bind your shadow mend. Key bind your uh, power word shield, and make sure that you use them whenever you need to. Um, keep in mind that for the mana cost, you get a lot more healing out of shadow mend than power word shield. So if you're like fighting a single rare, and you have time, like you have like a second or two before you die, you're better off shadow mending than shielding. Uh, Prydaz, real good. If you're just soloing around the world, Prydaz is, like, I always wear Prydaz if I'm questing an Argus even, like, I'm, I'm all 935 or something, but I still wear Prydaz every day everywhere because it's just good for safety. And then in raids, don't stand in stuff, uh, and you'll be fine, and you'll be fine. Um, also make sure you keep on your Vampiric Embrace. That will still work even if you're on your own. It's a big damage, or a big healing boost to you. That has gotten me through some tough rare battles, and is also just a good thing to have a handy for raids. But, uh, that's, that's, that's really my best advice. Do you like gummy worms? I don't dislike gummy worms. I had this dessert once, actually, that my aunt made me that had, like, it was, like, worms and dirt. It had, like, Oreo cookie crumb dirt and then gummy worms and then, like, some other stuff in it, and it was really, it was really good. Where are you from? I am from the west coast of Canada, so I'm from, like, Vancouver Island in British Columbia. The ones for candy come encased in glass. Uh, okay. This still seems to think that my chocolate is, like, 90 degrees. I guess I'll just let it chill more. Next time I do this, metal bowl candy thermometer. It's still like wet, but it's not super shiny. I feel like when I've properly done these temperatures, it's gonna get shinier. Uh, Marseille wine, not amaretto. Do the Italians use amaretto liquor instead of rum? You can imagine the almond flavor would be tasty. There are tons of recipes with all sorts of different things to use. I am using rum because that is what I have. 
but there are some that use amaretto, there are some that use marsala, there are some that use, um, I don't know, <laughs> other stuff. A lot of people will make it with like Kahlua, uh, well, Americans anyways. This will not cool down. I can't. Kitty, why won't my chocolate cool down? Why? I feel like if she didn't like getting picked up, she would not come over to me, because I pick her up every time she's looking back. Dirt, pudding, cookie crumbles, whipped cream, gummy worms. Mmm, it's good stuff. Favorite thing to bake from the WoW cookbook? Um, in like the baked desserts section? Because I actually really like a lot of the bread recipes. The, um, Mulgore bread. The Mulgore, what's it called? Honey bread? I've forgotten, but I've made that a couple of times for like Thanksgiving and whatever, and it comes re it turns out really nicely. Everybody loves it. Mulgore spice bread. The Mulgore spice bread is really good, but because of the rising times, I don't like to make it on stream. And then like for, it's like a dinner thing, but the firecracker salmon is probably my favorite recipe. Victoria BC, the home of the newly wed and nearly dead. Yep. I, maybe I'll go back there when I'm nearly dead. Vanilla flavor meshes better with the mascarpone. <laughs> Kitty. Yeah. Alright. This is still at 90 degrees. I guess it's not 100 anymore. It is cooling down just like really slowly. I heated this bowl up way too much. That doesn't do anything. Alright, well, I guess I can just let that cool while I assemble the tiramisu because everything else is kind of ready. Our next steps as far as the tiramisu are beating with the cream with vanilla and then we're also going to whisk the mascarpone cheese into the egg yolk mixture so i guess i'll start my cream whipping and i'll mix my mascarpone into the egg yolk mixture i have chocolate on my recipe this is why i printed it off i don't need to ever use this again <laughs> all right so let's pull this forward a little bit Ugh. It's always so loud. Cream. Cream. How much cream? Uh, one and a quarter cups. Tons of cream. Okay. One and a quarter cups. Which is like, isn't that like this whole thing? Let's find out. Let's find out. Uh, where is the puppy today? He is on the couch. He's asleep on the couch. Actually, no, he's staring at me now. He knows when I say puppy. He's six years old, but he's gonna be a puppy forever, and he looks like a puppy forever, and whenever I take him walking, he's like, oh my god, how old is your puppy? And I'm like, I just, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, one cup. And... Quarter of a cup. Eyeballing it. It's just whipped cream. And then we need to mix in some vanilla. Uh, half a teaspoon of vanilla. Oh. Baking streams are the longest that I ever stand up in my entire life. <laughs> like, walking is one thing. Like, when I'm out for a walk, I'll go for pretty long walks. But if I'm just, like, in my house, I'm never standing up for this long unless I'm doing a baking stream. And at the end of them, I always feel like I just finished, like, an eight-hour shift on the floor working the sales floor at, like, retail. And then I remember I don't do that anymore. I'm so happy. Okay, half a teaspoon. Now, some of the... This is just whipped cream. This is just for a layer of whipped cream. And some of the people in the recipe said it wasn't, like, the, the whole thing wasn't quite sweet enough for their taste. So I'm going to add just, like, a tiny bit of sugar. Just, like, a little dash of sugar for my sugar bowl. Alright, this is finally cooled down to 90 degrees. It's got another 8 degrees to cool down. Tiny little dash of sugar. Just to make that a little tiny bit sweeter. And then we're gonna whip. Did I unplug you? I did. A little scared there for a second. I was like, oh gosh. Not my mixer! Alright. Alright. Egg mixture, master 
Peaks. The, the mixer didn't like pull out of it, so I have to poke it to find out, but that's okay. Tastes like very sweet butter. It does taste like very sweet butter. Okay. Is my chocolate cooler yet? Okay, there we go. 83 or so. So now, let me, let me whisk this in. of under incorporating it after the whole flower disaster with the lady fingers. Mm. No thanks Tim. You're doing great. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. This looks really good. This part looks really good. And everybody knows like the custard and then like the rum is like the or the alcohol is like the best part of the tiramisu. So it's alright. Um I am sorry right, so I need to reheat the chocolate now. Put it back over the simmer in water, read 85 and then I get to do the drizzle thing. So I'm gonna put my chocolate back over the water and we're gonna reheat that to like 85 and then we're gonna do the drizzle thing. Oh, have you seen the May slippers in the blue store? <gasps> no! Why do I feel like I'm gonna need them? All right, well, I'm waiting for that to heat up so I'm looking that up right now. It'll load on mobile, right? Here. Gear.blizzard.com. I have a weird feeling I'm gonna need that. I actually really like the new, I can't type in this thing. I actually really like the new May skin too. I don't know what it is, but it's adorable. <laughs> Dot com. My girl Cora wants to tell you hello. She's only three, but loves watching your videos. Aww. Hi Cora. Aw, oh, thanks for the link. Okay, I think I got here. I've actually been really warming up to my Murloc mugs lately. I used to think they were awkward to drink out of, but I've kind of mastered the art of like slurping from the Murloc skull, and it's kind of like they're such a good size for like black tea in the morning. <gasps> oh my god, the Yeti slippers! Look at those! Oh gosh, those are great. Those are adorable. They're $40 though! Those would, and I would 100% have worn through them in like eight months. I just don't think it's worth it. Okay. So we reheat this to 80. I lost my like because I, I, I pulled up slippers here. So we, oh, here we go. Reheat into 85 to 87. Okay, so like a little bit more. A little bit more. <laughs> Stephanie says, hello Hazel, and thanks for turning off the mixer. Yeah, yeah, no, I know it's loud. I know it's loud. Okay. So that, that's all right. You know what? That's all right. Okay. What am I doing? Oh yeah. And then another small bowl. Bowl. We're going to be mixing. 
mixing together a quarter cup of coffee, and I have some cold brew in the fridge that I'm using this for, for this for, and two tablespoons of rum. This might be really gross, but that's fine. Uh, so. So ever ever Portland because we're we're around Portland now we're using original Stumptown cold brew coffee not sponsored by the way again nobody's ever paid me for anything um, <laughs> and we're gonna use a quarter cup of that and then mix it with some rum and this is gonna be either really good or really gross and we're about to find out <laughs> if you need to use a bottle opener to get into your coffee you know you're in Portland <sighs> all right quarter cup of that. It said room temperature, but I'm assuming cold is fine. I just don't want you like using super hot coffee here. I'm really not a coffee person. <laughs> I'm really not. I try. I try so hard because people love coffee so much. Oh yeah. Taking that off. Taking that off. Taking that off. Also drizzling. Maybe I, maybe I drizzle now. This looks pretty shiny. I'm gonna call that good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some drizzling. I feel like this is again a little too thick for spider webs, but I feel like we can make something go on here. Should I use something other than the spoon? Like what do I even have? Nothing. The answer is nothing. Ah! As long as it looks like streaky, it's fine. Maybe we'll arrange spider webs out of the streaks. This looks okay. I don't, I will never know until we're like done if I tempered this properly and odds are that I super didn't. But, you know, we tried. Also, I'm kind of flinging chocolate on my teapot. Okay, we officially have we officially have like ah, a recipe in my sink. We officially have over there. There's some there's some chocolate bits. There's some chocolate bits. Okay. So we're adding two tablespoons of rum to our coffee. I don't have a good feeling about this, but we're gonna follow the recipe. It's a spiced rum because it didn't tell me not to, and again, that's the only kind of rum I have. One tablespoon of rum. Two tablespoons of rum. Oh, more rum. Uh, they added an alec plushie. No. I need to look at all that stuff. Okay. So, coffee and rum. Chocolate stuff. Cream. Mascarpone mixture. Lady fingers. Okay, I think we're ready to start assembling. I think we're. I think we're almost good here. Turn off the fan, and we have dish, also specifically gotten for this because I didn't have a 7 by 11 dish. And we are going to start by fishing our recipe out of the sink, and man this recipe is just like dying, like the paper. All right. Arrange the lady fingers, soak them in half of the rum and coffee. Alright, so half of the lady fingers and then half of the, this stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna save the good half of the lady fingers. Eh, I guess it's all getting covered in cream, so it doesn't really matter. So half of the lady fingers or so does not need to be in any kind of a. I mean, if I had made nice lady fingers, these would be nicer looking, but that's fine. As long as there's like a layer of cookie stuff. And sure, yeah, why not? And we're gonna soak that with half of this. I guess I'm just gonna take a big spoon. Um, sure. You know, it's starting to smell like tiramisu. It's a good sign, right? I'm hoping that the coffee and alcohol will just disguise the stains of these lady fingers. Okay. Seems about right. And then we spread half of the mascarpone and then half of the whipped cream. 
We're just making a, we're making a big ol', we're making a big ol' lasagna over here. one set of cutlery, so I have four of everything. <laughs> Alright, half the whipped cream. This whipped cream is not super whippy. I probably could have whipped it longer. Maybe I whipped it too early. But there's lots of it, and that's good. So you can make this whole process way, like, a hundred times faster by not making the cookie yourself, and also buying, like, canned whipped cream. Again, I need I need the floating camera technology of the future. All right, we'll just make sure that most this is you know this recipe makes the right amount of this stuff. I just need to do the lady fingers better. It probably would have been fine as long as I had you know incorporated the flour a little bit more, and then left the first batch in the oven a little longer. But we're good. All right, and then we're gonna like soak that with the rest of the coffee stuff. Woo. On you go, on you go. Instead of like pooling at the bottom of the dish, now it's just like flooping over the cream. This may not look pretty, but it'll taste like dessert. Ooh. It's like a lot more of it, so we're just gonna like, ah! Alright, there you go. There you go. And then the rest of this... Which is clearly the best part, because I think I did it right. <laughs> not like incredibly whipped or like that it sat for a bit because it's gonna sit in the fridge too right like this whole thing's gonna kind of like set okay. and now the rest of the cream it's filling the top of the dish at least i lost my cream oh there it is we got it we got it we got it oh spoon's falling canned whipped cream uh in, you know like the aerosol can i just missed your alliance apron where did you get it i got it on etsy etsy there's a store called printing and crafting on etsy Yeah, not whipped enough. Definitely not whipped enough. But I'm too lazy to go back and do it more now. Uh, where did my where did my my purple go? Oh, there we go. This hurts. All right. Sure. Yeah. Definitely could not have done any more layers. It's just like cover all of the weird lady finger mess with the whipped cream. Perfect. Yeah, good. Planned. Cream on my floor, that's fine. I'm gonna whip that up whip that up before I step in it. Alright, and then two more things. One of them, we're going to take cocoa powder and we're gonna grab our sifter back. We've lost our sifter. Here's our sifter. And we're gonna sift a little cocoa powder on top. Okay. Oh, that's not set. I'm probably gonna put that in the fridge then to let it set. I thought that would be hard by now, it's not. Um, I shouldn't have stuck my fingers in the head. I was expecting it to be like solid. I feel like everything always hardens way too quickly when I do it myself. Or when I do it. I'm losing words. I'm losing it. my words. Alright. Ooh, that comes through fast. Yeah. powder. Lots of cocoa powder. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. In the, in the fork drawer too. Good, good, good. Kitty, I wiped up the cream. You were too slow. She's headbutting my ankles right now. Kitty, what are you doing? 
Aren't you scared of the kitchen? I'm like a crazy lady in here talking to you. Yeah, I dropped a spoon, now you're gone. <laughs> okay. I think we did it. So this goes in the fridge now. It's got some semblance of layers. Um, way too much cocoa. This goes in the fridge now. It sets for like six hours. Um, I'm also going to let that stuff set in the fridge and like throw it on top when it's like pieces. I will post some pictures and then like a little Instagram video um, on my Instagram, which is hazelnuttylife. Instagram.com slash hazelnuttylife uh, in like six to eight hours, like sometime tonight. And we will find out how it went. You want to take a tour of my kitchen? All right. So there's like sink, <laughs> there's like counter, and there's like me. And then, you know, the stove's not too bad. The stove's not too bad, but it's just like, I got some cleaning up to do. I'm going to put on that song from the big, oh, I, I, I bent my talk. I'm going to put on that song from like the big comfy couch. It became tiramisu. It is going to be Duskwoody. We're gonna pretend it's Duskwoody. I couldn't think of anything to make it any more Duskwoody. If I ever figure out great chocolate, you'll be, you'll, you guys will be the first to know. I like your she wrecked me. Why, thank you. It's Ikea. It works great. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm gonna clean up. I'm gonna clean up. But thank you guys so much for coming. I'll be streaming again on Friday, of course. Normal live stream on Friday. I've kind of tilted this. How do I have to comment? I don't know. I'm streaming again on Friday. Um, Snaw's video should be out tonight. Snaw's strategies. And then we're just gonna finish the rest of the pet strategies as fast as humanly possible and move on to raid strategies. So thank you guys for watching, thank you for coming, thank you for new sponsoring, and uh, I will let you know on Twitter as soon as I have an emote that I'm, that I'm happy with. It's, it's, it's a process. So have a great day guys, bye!